Good afternoon. My name is Tom Kalinowski. I'm the Director of Technology and Operations here at Colonial Intermediate Unit 20. Today is February 8th, 2018. This is Tech Tips number 41. In today's episode, we're going to go over how you can create a custom menu inside of Sheets to sort your data. In a previous episode, we went over how you can go about sorting your data by multiple items at once. So how we went and did that was we clicked up here in the top left hand corner to select all of our data. We clicked on data and then we clicked on sort range. We specified my data had a header row and we specified the first thing we wanted to sort by. Let's say that's last name and then maybe we wanted first name and then maybe let's say state. So that if we click on sort, okay, alphabetizes everything first by last name, then by first name, and then by state. If your data set uh, continually grows, uh, it, may, uh, it may become somewhat of a uh, painful task to keep on doing that. Uh, it's not overly difficult, but it is a lot of clicks. I'm going to show you how you can add a menu to Google Sheets and uh, very easily perform that function uh, with one click. So let's uh, let's put our sample data back to how it was. We're going to work with scripts to accomplish this. Um, for those of you that have not used scripts before, uh, I, I know sometimes it might be a little uh, intimidating at first, but uh, this particular script doesn't have too many lines, uh, and you should be able to follow. I'll be able I'll put the uh, notes, uh, the actual text of the script, in the uh, show notes below. And uh, if you have any questions, as always, don't hesitate to ask in the comments section. So once you have your spreadsheet open, you can go ahead and click on Tools, and then Script Editor. That brings this window up. Then you can go ahead and select all of the text uh, for the script. Again, I'll put this in the uh, notes of the video. And you can select everything in here. You can delete it. And then you can paste in the script that I provided you. All right. So there's just a couple of things uh, that we need to change. Um, and I'll, uh, I'll explain what each of them are. So the first thing is create menu. And in capital letters here, I have name of menu item. So what this is going to be, if we go back to sheets, we're going to create a new menu item here right next to add-ons and help. So what do we want to call that? Uh, you can call it whatever you'd like. Uh, in my particular example, let's call it, uh, I don't know, custom sort. Again, you could call it whatever you'd like. Next items that we need to change are what are we going to call the items in the menu. So again, if we go back here as an example, uh, this is the menu items tools. So we're going to create one that says custom sort. And when you click on tools, a couple of other things come up. What do we want the items to be called once we click on custom sort? So we'll go back here, click here, and we'll get rid of the first one. And let's say we'll call it, um, I don't know, last. First state. Again, it could be whatever you'd like. And then the next one, let's say we want to sort by state first and last. All right. Next, we have these reference uh, references. It says item one reference and item two reference. What this is used for is how you're going to reference this item later down in our code. Um, you'll notice uh, that uh, there's no spaces. Just to keep everything clean, uh, I'd recommend uh, leaving spaces out. Uh, we will leave the two single quotes, though, uh, in there. Um, and we can uh, simplify um, uh, what we're specifying here. Uh, so let's just call this, I don't know. LFS for last first state. Um, we could have wrote out last first state. Uh, again, doesn't really matter uh, what we specify there, um, but we will have to uh, reference it later. Uh, so make sure it makes sense to you. And we'll do uh, the same thing for the next item. So let's call this SLF state last first. All right. So the next function down here. Uh, you'll see it says item one reference. So the item one reference is uh, what we call the first item. So that's going to be LFS. So I'll click on here. 
can type in LFS. Okay. And the next function, you've probably guessed it, uh, we're going to do SLF, state last first. All right, so for each of these functions, now we're going to specify um, what we're going to do uh, with each of them. And each of these uh, items here is going to sort those columns. So first, it's looking at the range. Uh, so let's go here and let's see what our range is. So our range starts at A2. Let's see how far it goes over. It goes over to L. Uh, L is the last column uh, of data. And uh, right now, I think I have about uh, 500 or so. Yeah, there's about 500, uh, 500 rows. So let's go back here. So let's say A2. And what was that uh, row again? L. L was the last row. Okay, so let's say A2 to L. Uh, we could keep it at 1,000. L1000, L1000. Uh, that means that uh, if our data set ever grows uh, to 1,000, uh, this formula will still work. If you wanted to uh, play it uh, even safer, I mean, we could just as easily make this 10,000. Okay. Now, the next thing we want to do is specify how we want to sort it. And one uh, sort of gotcha here is that we need to make sure that when we're specifying our sort order, we do it backwards. Okay, so what is the last in uh, last name, first name, state? What is the last thing that we want to sort by? Uh, so that would be state. So what column is state? So let's go back here. So we have column one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, column seven. So we're going to say column seven and ascending. Uh, that means A to Z. Uh, do we want it to be A to Z or Z to A? Uh, A to Z is equal to true, so we'll leave it just like that. Okay, so the last item was state that we wanted. Uh, prior to that, it's first. So what was the first uh, column? Oops, sorry. First, uh, column one. So we'll specify a one there. And again, we'll keep that A to Z by saying ascending is true. And the last uh, item, or, or really the first uh, item, uh, is last name. And last name is column two. Okay, so we'll go back here and we'll go column two. And just to make sure, again, remember I said uh, we'll specify what we want to uh, sort by first, last. Uh, so column two is last, and column one is first, and column seven is the state. So that'll be the first one here. The next one we have is state last first. Okay, so the first thing we want to uh, look at is uh, remember we're working backwards. So first, so first was column one. Last was column two, and state is column seven. So I have seven one two one two seven. Okay. And let's remember to change these ranges as well here. So we'll click on here and we'll say to L 10,000, L 10,000, L 10,000. Okay. Let's save our work. We'll go ahead and click on save. And we'll type in custom sort. Again, you can name this whatever you'd like. All right, and if we did everything right, and uh, hopefully we did, uh, it should work. So let's give it a shot. Let's go back to our spreadsheet. Um, and for uh, simplicity's sake, we'll just close our spreadsheet. Okay, go back into our drive. All right, so let's go ahead and open up our spreadsheet again. Okay, that's opening up. And we're gonna watch right up here. We see add-ons, help, it says it's working. And you can see right there, it added a new menu item. <clears throat> so it says custom sort. Let's go ahead and click on that. And you'll see our two menu items are there. Um, 
you can see that we probably uh, forgot uh, to remove uh, one of the items uh, in our code because uh, it says last first state, state last first, which is right, um, but it still says sort there. So let's go fix that really quick. Let's click on tools, script editor. Okay, and that'll bring that up. And yeah, you see we left that word sort there. Let's just get rid of that. Save that. Close that. I'll close that. Let's open it up again. So custom sort. Okay, our data's up there. We're just going to wait for our menu item to appear. Okay, let's go ahead and click on that. You'll see our two menu items. So let's try last first state. Go ahead and click on that. So we get authorization required. Uh, so it does need your permission to run. So we'll go ahead and click on continue. We'll specify our account. Okay, and we got an error here. Uh, so that's uh, good actually that we got that. Uh, so something to point out to you. It says the coordinates of the range are outside of the dimensions of the sheet. So in English, what that means is that the range that we specified, remember when we specified that range in there, uh, it was from, I believe, like A2 to L10,000. What that's saying is, hey, wait a second, there's something wrong. I can't find L10,000. So let's go down. So we had a thousand rows there. Uh, we can add up to 10,000 uh, rows if we wanted to, um, but for now we only have a thousand rows. So can you uh, think of how we'd fix that? So let's go back to our script editor. And you've probably guessed it. Let's just make this a thousand. So that's all a thousand. Let's save that. Again, for simplicity, we'll close that, close this. And let's open it up again. Now, if we go ahead and click on our new menu, you'll see we have two options there, last first state and state last first. Let's go ahead and click on the first one. And now, auto magically, you'll see our data is sorted by last name, first, uh, then first name, then state. We could go ahead and choose the other option state last first. And again, we'll see that our data is now sorted by state, then last, then first. So this could uh, be really useful in a situation where you're constantly adding uh, data to your spreadsheet and you'd always like to be able to view it in a, a certain order uh, without having to manually go in there every time and select all of your data, then click on data, sort range, and then adding each of the individual columns. So it's just a, a really quick, easy way uh, that you can uh, sort all of your data. And if you need to, uh, if you wanted to uh, use that code in another spreadsheet, you can easily do that. I'll show you how real quick. If we click on new, Google Sheet, and let's say we uh, typed in a bunch of data in this uh, sheet. Okay, we can uh, click on Tools, Script Editor. Now remember, this is how we started things out, um, but this time we can just click File Open, and all of your scripts that you've created previously will be there. You'll see Custom Sort here. We could go ahead and click on that. Okay, we can click on Open Project. Okay, and that's it. So now that. Um, script that will be in that new spreadsheet that you just created. I hope you found this tip uh, valuable. Sorry it uh, went a little bit longer than some of my previous ones, uh, but uh, because we were working with scripts and it's a little bit more complex, it needed a little bit more time to uh, show you guys that. If you have any questions about this or any other uh, topics, uh, please let me know. Uh, in fact, this particular tip uh, was a request of one of my uh, previous ones on, on sorting, and they were asking how you can repeatedly uh, sort data in an easy way. So I hope this uh, helps you out. I'll see you again next time. Have a good day.